Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be game four of Ziki versus DeWalt from the second set. So I think I updated the overlay. I believe it is correct. Ziki is up 2 1. There is a gap because I managed to get that. This is the gap where I did the Hasu League thing in between for people that are watching on YouTube. Upper left hand corner, we have Ziki starting as the Brown Zerg. Bottom right hand corner, we have DeWalt starting as the Gray Protoss. Looks like the initial Overlord Scout for Ziki is going to be moving to the upper right-hand corner. But I've really enjoyed this set between these two. And again, speaking of BSL, this might be a preview of the finals. Ziki has not yet taken a championship. Amongst the Zerg contenders, I believe he is the one I think is most likely to do it. There hasn't been a Zerg champion since True Touch, I think in like Season 8. So it's been a while. And that might even be off. It might have even been further back. DeWalt wants to get his championship robbed. I don't know. Why, I don't want to say robbed. He was definitely uh, frustrated in the finals last season. Especially, it looks like he's going to open up the one gate and play from there. Probe Scout moving the upper right corner. And this is going to be cross spawn gateway build. So it might be challenging. And we'll see if. Ziki currently might be opening up for a 12 hatch. So this is going to be the most beneficial opener to have the gateway opener against. However, this is cross bonds on fighting spirit. So there's going to be a lot of distance. Ziki moving out his drone scout. And keep in mind, also DeWalt doesn't have vision as of yet. He doesn't know where his opponent's spawn is. And this isn't the... Cross positions aren't exactly what you want to see in this scenario. Ziki going ahead and dropping that pool. But first sell it should be along shortly. And actually, oh, this is unfortunate for DeWalt. So DeWalt is going to know the location by process of elimination, but he's not going to have eyes on what the initial build order is, which might make him pause with his zealot. So he went upper right, is cross spawning, and he's going to have to go all the way up into the main to see what's happening. In the meantime, the drone sees the gateway on the front. The Zealot's making his way cross position, so it looks like he's not going to pause, was just going to ri risk the fact that it was a nine pool or other pool opener. So Zealot's marching his way across. The probe is going to be out of position to provide support. It's going to be trailing a bit. Another drone, kind of wondering what that drone was up to. The Zealot actually already, so interesting, not knowing the build order. This is an interesting play from DeWalt. So he's like, I don't know the build order. It might have been Zerglings first. So rather than worrying about that, let me just march the Zealots to the 12 o'clock to potentially disrupt a third base. That is a very risky play. And just pocket the Zealot up to the north. This is also DeWalt game. This is things DeWalt does. Where he likes... This could be a big factor later on. So Ziki saw the Zealot move out, but has no clue where it's at now. The probe cycling around to go ahead and get a scout. And actually also a pylon block at the 9 o'clock to slow things down there. So nice interruptions on the build order. A lot of Zerglings flooding out. But DeWalt, was, while doing all these shenanigans, he's got two Zealots and no Forge as of yet and went Nexus. Overlord's just now creeping up. He'll be okay. Dropping a shield battery to deal with things otherwise. The drone now... Engaging the Zealot. Zealot out of the mineral line. So we'll see if the Zerglings can get a cutoff angle. Getting some free damage as they're walking their way across. And some Zerglings. And this is a lot of Zerglings that are on the field right this second. No cannon as of yet. So they could poke at some of this infrastructure. If Ziki opts to do so. The Zealot now pocketed up there. Looks like it's managed to get a Zergling kill. And otherwise taken care of. 12 o'clock location now morphing. Pylon taken out there as well. So a bit of delay... So despite all this, somehow DeWalt managing to delay just through... I don't even know what to call those tactics. All over the place and didn't pay for it at all. He still managed to get his natural expansion up. Ziki built a bunch of Zerglings and he's going to get the scout on top of everything else. So Ziki, a bit flustered, honestly, has to feel flustered in the opening build order. Looks like it is going to be three hatch Muta. But, and the Probe Scout seeing everything. Seeing Probe Saturation. Zealot's now marching out. DeWalt, again, was one of those guys that just, as far as like the music of Brood War, just plays jazz. 
really catches guys out of position and just off guard. So four zealots marching out towards the 12 o'clock. Forcing Zeki to produce more Zerglings. And the Probe Scout still managing to sneak out. Looks like it. I'm wondering if it's going to regroup with these Zealots. Five Zealots now marching to the natural expansion. No something Colony there. A lot of Zerglings being produced. Dewalt supply capping himself momentarily. But I'm not sure that it's going to be a full supply cap. So the drone's trying to pull out of the natural expansion. Doing a drone drill as the Zealots are trying to make their way up the ramp. The Zerglings delayed in coming as a surround. Drone's also pulling off the line to try to defend this natural expansion. It looks like Dewalt... I don't think he's gotten a drone kill yet, but he still has four zealots, two of them very, very weak. Three of them very, very weak. How did he micro his way out of that? And the probe's still able to sneak out and check that third. The zealots, two of them taken out. The third left remaining, but this has forced a lot of zerglings out of Ziki. And a bit of scattering along that mining time. Level one weapons along the way. Now, however, DeWalt can apply little to no pressure. Still somehow managed to get another Zealot here at this 12 o'clock location. That's going to get cleared out. But he was able to see what the drone line looked like there. And it looks like he's going to opt to go ahead and place three more gateways down. Does have that Stargate up. Is going plus one weapons to follow this up in a Citadel of a Dune. Plus, he's grabbed a second gas. So it looks like he wants to move into Corsair DT as far as a follow-up. Ziki currently has map control potentially, but you can just see Ziki scattering Zerglings everywhere because this is DeWalt. He's like, okay, did he sneak a Zealot? Did he sneak a probe? Right now, though, DeWalt in the dark has no idea what Ziki's up to. Looks like the hatchery is online. And Ziki actually potentially missing an opportunity here. He is producing, well, maybe not, because the first Corsair is not, is making its way across. That might be Scourge fodder. Oh, the Scourge out of position to engage. It is going to see an initial Mutalisk, and we'll see if DeWalt produces some cannons. So the, this initial Corsair is going to get wiped out by the Mutalisks in the air. But as far as a follow-up, some cannons need to be warped in at both locations. It looks like, yeah, two cannons in the main, and it's going to be double Stargate once again as far as a turnaround for DeWalt. So he wants that air control, have the Zealots underneath with Zealot Leg Speed and potentially a Dark Templar to follow this up. Let's see if the Scourge... Zeke kind of failed to do the additional scouting information. Never mind, Zeke diving in, loses the Scourge there. Maybe an ill-advised attack, trying to poke at that additional Corsair and maybe seeing the two Corsair here. Might have a concept that it's double Stargate behind this. Let's see if he produces a lot of Scourge as a follow-up. It looks like he's already got a sense of this because he's got more Scourge. And that's going to allow him to potentially body block with the Scourge and maybe get shots at something. At least maybe some attacks on the front. So yeah, trying to bait those Corsair forward. using Trying to micro those Scourge back and forth. And now, I actually love the shield batteries there as well. So it's going to keep the Corsairs healthy and infirm air control over that natural expansion. The Zealots now have leg speed, kicking out, gonna go ahead and engage these Zerglings with the plus one weapons and no Carapace upgrade. Yeah, and actually grabbing shields, so completely free handful of Zerglings right there. And DeWalt just showing why he's so good at this. However, the Zealots are exposed on the front. Might take a little bit of damage here and there from... So it's gonna be an air battle, basically. Ziki needs to maintain air control. If he loses air control, those zealots are going to be free to wreak havoc underneath. Also, he's going to lose a plethora of Overlord, but if he can maintain air control and sim city up a little bit, those, and actually do things at a distance, these zealots will get slowly picked away by the Mutalisks and will remain a null threat potentially. Four bases up for Ziki. Ziki close to even on the overall worker count. Hydralisks are now being built. Looks like level one weapons being upgraded to transition to Hydralisks in the mid game. But DeWalt already moving out and he has a huge supply lead. And those Mutalists getting obliterated. Absolutely devastated. Right now, I don't think Ziki has enough 
to defend this 12 o'clock location. DeWalt, this might be GG altogether. Zealots marching in, plus one weapons, plus the Corsairs obliterating everything overhead. Zealots having a little bit of micro trouble taking care of that Sunken Colony. There are Hydralists here to try to support. The drone's coming off the line trying to defend this, but the Zealots immediately getting on top of these Hydralists. DeWalt repositioning and more Zealots are on the way. And Zeke losing practically every drone, so two drones look like they're going to be able to escape their lives. More Hydralists are spawning, but more Zealots are marching in. Plus, the Corsairs are running rampant in the midst of this. Zeke is supply blocked. I don't think he can save these three hatcheries to the 12 o'clock location. He does have a lot of Hydralists that want to try to push up here, but I think these Zealots, as long as they're marching here, are going to be able to get a lot of damage done. And on top of that, the Corsairs are just obliterating every Overlord that's in the air while this is happening. Now there's finally enough Hydralists to potentially defend this 12 o'clock, but I think Zeke's economy has been too battered, too shattered... You got more Corsairs moving out, more Zealots marching up. Still some being actually held back in the Aziki calling GG right there. DeWalt just showing a masterful level of play top to bottom here. Just absolutely brilliant play. And as far as it feels like DeWalt has in his back pocket that double Stargate plus one weapons leg speed build that he can execute. And I have not seen Zeke be able to stop it yet. With the current build orders that he's fielding. So I'm wondering if that is like the GG build that DeWalt has. So two, two games to two now in the second set. We'll move on to game... Th what is this? I need to do math really fast. Game five. Hope you guys enjoyed it.